So it looks like we actually had a fox attack last night. Thankfully it hasn't managed to get any of the chickens, but it, he's ripped off some of the um, pond line that I have over the top of here. This side's all ripped. Um, this side's all ripped off here, which obviously tried to get in. Obviously the hinges is broken on this side, which I needed to fix, but I've been waiting for my dad to get here. But he's still in lockdown in London, so he hasn't been able to get here yet. Um, the, so basically because the hinge is broken up that there, I'll show you in a minute. There's a little bit where you can see in. So obviously, and that's the nesting box that everyone likes to sit in. It's obviously tried to get in. This has been pulled out of the ground. So obviously it's tried to get under here. Um, because this was all held down and that was not out of the ground. Um, all these were on the floor, which is actually where the hole had been, where the chicken was escaping. So I'm going to have to redo those. Um, you know, obviously he got through that gap there to get in to get try and get into the nesting boxes um, so I'm gonna have to go and try and I've got some other kind of um, bolts that I was gonna use for the other house but I'm gonna have to see if I can use them on this nesting box now um, since we say we've had, we had no evidence of any attack anything apart from just the rats trying to get in and we've had nothing else um, but we now see this was ripped off and we have teeth marks and this is the gap you see and it's chewed that and because obviously where the this is off as well so that was underneath where it obviously tried to get in and this has all got teeth marks in it teeth marks here chewed this but obviously here it's got a bit of a gap now so you can see in to the coop. So that's obviously where it was trying to get in. I can't see anything else that's been damaged. It definitely obviously didn't get in. But um, I'm gonna have to see if I can put like a, a lock on it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to, but uh, I'm gonna have to try now since we've had a, someone try to actually get in last night. But weirdly, we had someone come over saying that their chicken got eaten last night, um, but they don't they don't lock them up in a coop, they just have them in like a cage thing or something. Um, and we've never had any signs of any activity other than a few smells here and there, but there's never been anything other than the silly rats trying to get in. But we've never had anything else until last night. Literally the person came, said, oh no, we've not had any issues. And they were like, oh, we'll go and we'll bring the lady around to come and look at your setup since obviously that's working and literally that's, last night is the first time we've ever had anything um, so I'm gonna have to see so basically under here so the things are broken the hinges and the hinges are broken there too the one on the end is still working just about so 
I'm going to see if I can do something about that today. Um, I am on emergency on call today, so I may get called into work. So I'm just going to try and work as fast as I can, see if I can get some of this stuff done before tonight. Right, I'll crack on. So I have done some makeshift repairs on this. So this it will not have. To, this can't stay because this won't open with this on there. But it's just something to hold this together because basically the, there was a gap here, which is where the rest of the fox would see the, the chicken. So I've managed to, that's together now, but obviously this won't open and shut. So what I've done is I've just temp I've locked it. So this can't be opened now. So this cannot be opened in any way, shape or form by a fox or anything. Obviously I've just done it so basically you have to collect the eggs from the inside, but that's fine. I always go in anyway every day. So I've done that so it's now locked. So we'll put it back on and then hopefully then it will stop anything trying to get in because there's no there's no gap here now so they can't see the chickens and it can't be they, they can't get in it that way and obviously I've got wire around the entire everywhere else so they shouldn't be able to get in anywhere else I've done some fixes on the thingy with using cable ties which we, we do will be able to chew through but we just put some things here and I put it all back on the ground so we'll put it back in and fingers crossed that I'll do them all right until I can get some other fancy hinges. So basically the hinges that were on here are like ones that have got this extra bit here. Which you, but obviously they've snapped. These two here have snapped. Which is what was causing the issue. So they've snapped in the middle. Same in that side. So I'm going to either have to get some other types just to try and figure out what's going on. Right, I'll get some mite stuff to spray underneath and then put it back on. <laughs> 